Swipe Up, episode 229, the podcast where I share my unfiltered thoughts on the latest news and entertainment updates. I'm your host, Ray Taylor. So in Tennessee, story three, Tennessee is the first state to ban drag performances in public. Tennessee has become the first state in the U.S. to ban drag performances, which the term drag performances is vague on purpose, just as the laws that are banning books in Florida are all vague. They're, they're vague for a very specific reason because they want to outlaw a way of being, right? And if they can somehow label whatever you're doing as a drag performance, then your freedom of speech, your freedom of existing is illegal, right? With Governor Bill Lee signing HB 9 into law on March 2nd, the law bans, quote, male or female impersonators who prove or who provide entertainment that appeals to a uh, prurient interest. I don't know what that means. Uh, from performance in public spaces or in front of minors, right? So, or in front of minors. So, minors don't have to be there. It's just if... If anybody is wearing clothes that aren't specific to your gender, you could be charged with a crime. If you are out in a store, if you're a woman out in a store and you're wearing cargo shorts and a wife beater, then if they don't like you, they can charge you with being a drag performer. You are out in public wearing clothes that are not specific to your gender. Therefore, you are a, a threat to our society and you should be charged with the crime. It is insane. The ban will go in effect April 1st. Hilarious. April Fool's Day. Uh, a few months ahead of the Pride, festiv Pride festivities. Obviously, 100% done on purpose. They want any kind of lifestyle that is not the straight white puritanical way of living they want that to be as illegal as possible and they're doing it in every sneaky little vague way and uh all of their little sheep are like oh they're protecting kids right meanwhile the number one uh death the, the thing responsible for killing kids the number one thing responsible for killing kids guns don't want to do anything with that not a single kid, in my estimation, has ever died from watching or seeing or viewing somebody wearing the clothes of the other gender in front of them. It's not a lethal activity to witness, uh, but somehow kids are not prepared and able to see something of that nature. It's just these, like, there's enough nuance in the people that I at least agree with the general reality that we're living in to have to somehow argue with the people that are living in this completely detached and delusional reality is just so mind-numbingly worthless. It's like the most worthless use of anybody's time to say that like their, their viewpoint needs to be debated or acknowledged as if it's at all and in any way viable is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, has noted that the ban violates First Amendment protections, obviously, and has uh, promised to change it in the court. Uh, I mean... That's the, the First Amendment they only care about if it's their First Amendment rights that are being infringed. And they only think, like, they think getting banned on a social media app is a violation of their First Amendment, which isn't. <laughs> they don't understand that it's protection of the government. And this is where the government is saying, oh, you don't have the right to express yourself in any way that is different than the gender normative, puritanical way of existing. Governor Lee also signed SB1 into law, which restricts access to gender-affirming care for transgender youth. Tennessee is the eighth state in the U.S. to ban such care. The ban on gender-affirming care will also uh, go into effect on July 1st of this year. 
and those already receiving medical care such as puberty blockers and hormone replacement ther therapy will lose this care after March 31st. The ACLU and Lambda Legal have promised uh, legal action against Tennessee, which, great, but how long is that going to take, right? It's, not, it's like stuff that happens in courts, like the previous story. The George Floyd protests were in 2020, and three years later, if it even goes through, New York City might be held responsible and have to give people money. But it's ridiculous. Uh, so they plan to uh, legal action against Tennessee in the health care ban, citing injunctions by federal court on similar restrictions in Alabama and Arkansas. The ACLU has expressed concern that the government officials could easily abuse the drag ban law to censor people based on their own subjective viewpoints. Duh. That's why it's it's vague. They that's done on purpose, done by design. They want to maximize the way, the amount that they can restrict any kind of existence outside of what they deem to be the acceptable existence in this lifetime. And it's absolutely disgusting. And everybody that thinks that they're protecting children need to take their head out of their ass. Okay? Because they don't have any proof. All they're doing is regurgitating the things that their politicians and their propaganda networks say. There is zero proof. If you want to look and find proof of the things that are actually harming the life of children, there is just like loads plethora of proof studies of 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 like dead bot there's like bodies of dead children because guns the second amendment the delusional the delusional way the second amendment is protected in this country meanwhile everything else is like up for grabs is absolutely insane it is insane New episodes of The Ray Taylor Show come out every single day. Subscribe on YouTube and everywhere our podcasts are found. Binge the full week over at InspiredDisorder.com slash plus. Buy Ray Taylor Show merch over at InspiredDisorder.com. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace. Ouch! Today, Today is, is the, the day, day where, you where you wake, wake up and you realize, realize that everything, everything that you've been dreaming about, about, everything that you've been wanting, every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real. Dreams can come true. What you manifest in your mind, you can bring to reality.